Hello viewers, welcome back. In today's lesson, we'll look at field percent and field color in Interscader. Let's get started. Kindly subscribe and also don't forget to press on the notification bell so that you always be notified whenever I upload new video. Alright, so today we will look at uh, fill percent and then fill color in Interscader. Okay, so let's bring out some objects to do our demonstration. I've created a new tab. See that we have our main tab. We have the, the sub tab and then we have sub tab 2. So I'll go to symbol factory and then pick some symbol for illustration. So I click on this, click on OK. And then I go to tanks. I pick, I think this is OK. I click OK. Let me resize. So I will draw an object on this. So let's say for instance I have this silo that I want to display the filling of this particular tank. I can then draw an object on it and then use the percentage fill animation property to illustrate the filling process of this particular tank. So if you come to this uh, percentage fill, we have the vertical and then we have the horizontal. So basically depending on what animation you want to do and how you want to display the filling, you choose which whatever suits your needs. Okay, so for now we'll be doing vertical filling. So I just click on vertical and then on the display point, we can see that we have under the properties, we have the max that we want to fill and then the minimum. Basically, this is going to be the value. That is the, if let's say it's a, a level sensor that is bringing signal in, then the range of the level sensor is what is going to be here. But for demonstration purpose, we will be using a slider to do it, which will range between 0 to 100. And then this is the, the filling of the tank. What is the total height of the tank? For now, we'll leave it, let's say, at 0 to 100. We'll look at that later. Then we'll look at the uh, direction, whether we want to fill up or down whenever the data is coming in. If the data is increasing, do we want our color to also increase or we want it to decrease when the data is coming in? We can choose that from here. And then the background color, whether we want it to be black, we want it to be white, we want it to be a different color. So for now, I will say I will choose green. And then we need to specify the expression. For now, we've not taken any object now, so I will click cancel. We can go to the main tab we can copy one of this and then paste so basically this is the level one we can use that for our demonstration so i copy the tag okay double click on this tag we'll go back to vertical and then now i can put the expression there which is this particular level coming in for now for this data we we'll leave it as it is and then we click on okay okay again and then we go to the runtime and then observe what happens. Okay. So we can see that as I perfect. So this is basically the percentage field. Let's go back to the development page. Okay. Now let's go back to the property again and then we'll go to vertical. Then let's change the background color and then see the effect. So I'll double click on the color. I change it to green click on OK. OK again. Go to runtime and then we see. OK, so we see that the background color is green and as I shift, see the movement. As if the tank is draining and then the tank is being filled. OK, so we go back to the development page again and then we will now have a look at the horizontal field as well. So I pick the horizontal and I give it the same expression that we picked level one we click on ok ok again we go to runtime and then we we'll observe and you can see that it's doing it horizontally it's like a door opening this is basically the test for the horizontal too as well we can also change the background color we can change the range as well so let me cancel this let me uncheck this go back to the vertical that we were using this is basically the data coming from the slider so let's say, for instance, if I, my fill point is between 0 to 50, or well, I change it to 0 to 50, let's see what happens. You can see that when this one goes through totally 200, it's doing half filling. So basically, that's how you can control the, the particular object that you are filling. 
you have to measure and know the actual height complete height and then you can use that one to set up your filling property good so we've been able to do an illustration on the percentage fill we will now look at the fill color okay so under fill color you can see that we have discrete we have analog we have discrete alarm and then analog alarm okay so we'll pick a discrete basically discrete which implies that there is a, a digital signal coming in so we can pick one of our selector switches so we we'll go back to the main page let me pick let's say the selector switch copy so now within the same illustration let's say if I turn this switch on it should fill this color automatically or let's say let me draw another object and I want this object state to change based on the status of this particular switch we can do just that that's where the fill color comes in so I'll double click on this and then pick the tag which is SW double click on this one go to sorry cancel I go to discrete I click on it and we can see that we can choose the on and then the off color so if I put this one here and then I say that if it's on I'm, I want it to show green I can click on it to change the color and then when it's off I want it to show red we go to runtime now okay so basically it's off and we can see the color is red right. this is field color the guitar signal coming in and we'll go back again and then look at fill color analog so we'll use this for our illustration okay so I pick on the analog and then we can see that the fill color analog the interface looks a bit different we need to specify our expression and for now we'll be using this same slider which is a level so I click on OK and then we can give different colors at different points in time within our slider so we can see that our slider ranges from 0 to 100 so we can pick that at 10 we want a specific color at 20 different color up to 9 colors so let's do it quickly so I can specify let's say 10 here let's say 0 10 20 60 70 80 and then let's say 100 here good then I change the colors starting with green yellow I'm just picking them randomly okay good so we can see that with these uh, values that I've given any point in time where the slider points or at any time where the slider is is supposed to show that specific color assigned to that particular value okay so let's go to runtime and then observe first I click OK sorry let me disable this one first because we are concentrating on the fill color so we are saying that zero it should be green you can see the color is changing perfect so this is how you can add color animation and then based on the values that are coming in perfect so let's go back and look at another illustration so we can also see that we can set up these two we can be using fill color at the same time the percentage fill so let's say if I want the percentage fill vertical the settings are already done let me change this one and then send this one back to 100 0 sorry ok and then ok again we go to runtime and then observe we can see that the filling is changing colors so it's only the filling point that is changing the colors based on the level but the background color still remains the same perfect so you can see that you can combine both fill color and then the percentage fill a practical example would be that let's say if I want to fill this silo that when the silo is at at a certain level I should show warning and when it's full I should show red indicating that it's full I can do just that and then I need to change all these colors so I come here
okay so let's look at that quickly so i double click on this and then go go to the analog now i've changed all the colors so i'm saying that from zero up to above 60 which will indicate that it's green we can still fill and then from 70 80 going we should give an indication that this the silo is getting full and then when we go above 90 we indicate that it's completely filled and we shouldn't fill any longer okay good that's the description now i click on ok that's for the fill color and i come to the percentage color but then i, I want it this is down i want it top let's use that one and then see how it appears go to runtime and then i move the slider so you can see that whilst we are filling it's showing green indicating that it's okay immediately we go beyond 60 getting into 70 we are indicating warning warning and then immediately we hit the 90s we are indicating that we are red completely full that we shouldn't top up perfect so this can be a typical application of this fill color and percentage fill thank you very much for watching see you in the next tutorial kindly leave comments below so that you aid me improve on this tutorial series see you bye bye